What is up to all the Unten Inc. viewers? Today we're gonna talk about another metal. Lead. <laughs> Sorry, I meant lead. Since the day we made the video about mercury, we've had a lot of suggestion to make a video about lead. If you look for lead on the table of elements, you'll find it with a weird name, PB. Just like mercury, which is known as HG, is not the English version of the name. It's short for plumb bomb, and in Latin, it means lead. Just like every other metal, lead is in nature, but not in pure form. It's just like iron and other types of metal. Some people believe this is the first metal humans discovered, but that has not been proven. But we can say lead is one of the first metals humans discovered. It has been more than 8,000 years since we've been using lead. In history it shows when lead was discovered, gold and silver was found next. The alchemists in history and Razi was the most famous one. Their main goal was to turn lead into gold. And we all know, not only Razi, but no alchemist could do it. If you look at the atomic number of gold and lead, they're very close. Gold has an atomic number of 79, and lead is 82. Nowadays, more than 50% of the lead in the world goes into batteries. Not the car batteries in the new electric cars, the regular batteries that start the car. 99% of batteries get recycled and then they re-enter the market. And that is why most of the lead in the market is recycled lead. And they've been recycled over and over. And a low percentage come from the mine. Another cool fact about lead is that if you pass electricity through it, not only does it not absorb heat, but it doesn't pass it either. They call this the Joule Thompson effect. Another metal that's very close to lead is tin. Lead and tin are so close that back in the day, people thought they were the same metal. Like in ancient Rome, they would consider lead black lead and tin was considered light lead. This idea continued until modern scientists found out that these two metals are completely different. Back in the day, they knew lead as a metal that did not get corroded and rust out. And that is why in ancient Rome, all the plumbing was done with lead pipes. A very dangerous thing that put a lot of people's lives in danger. A lot of Roman philosophers would say a lot of negative things about these pipes, but nobody listened to them. They chose lead because it would not rust out compared to other metals. Another more insane thing about lead is that they used to have lead bowls in plates and they would really like eating from it because they would say the food tastes sweet. A lot of people in ancient Rome would fall off and get sick and die and nobody knew it has something to do with the lead plates and pipeline. We don't really have to go far back in Roman times. Until recently, there was lead in gasoline and they believe it makes the car run better. It is true, lead makes the engine run smoother, but it would make the air quality extremely dangerous. Some people think the pencil lead is lead, because in English they do call it lead. But the lead you see in pencils has nothing to do with the metal, because a pencil lead is made from graphite, and unlike lead, it's not toxic to humans. So what does the lead do to our body that it's so dangerous? Lead doesn't affect much, except your brain. The effect it has on your body has a lot to do with the age and the intake. 
like on kids, a very low amount could have a very bad effect. Lead can change a person's personality with ease. In worst case scenario, it brings your IQ levels down. It causes lower sperm count and it makes it harder for a man to have babies. Lead in a pregnant woman's body could cause a miscarriage. They say 2.5% of a human's body is made of metal. Metals like iron, zinc, magnesium, and others. So why is lead such a toxic thing to human? We have to say that it's not lead's fault. It's just like other metals and it could enter our body. The main thing at fault is our body because when lead enters our body, it mistakes it for calcium. When the body makes this mistake, it lets lead get everywhere and it creates a roadway all the way to your brain. And since lead is a toxic metal and it enters our body where it's not supposed to, it could have very bad effects. It affects the cell. It could damage our DNA. It destroys vitamin D and causes vitamin D deficiency. So how does lead enter our body? The easiest way to get lead in our body is breathing it in. Then it's from your mouth. It could be absorbed through your skin, but it's extremely hard. And that is why people that handle lead have gloves on and masks on so they don't get affected. When you do a blood test, the metals in your body have to be in a specific amount, like your iron levels, zinc levels, or magnesium levels. But lead has to be zero. It's not always zero in a blood test. If it's zero, it's a great thing. When lead enters your body, the hard thing is it doesn't want to leave. If it's in your bloodstream, it could stay there for a few weeks. If it's in your tissues, it will take months to leave. But if you have a very high intake of lead, it could get into your bone marrows and it could stay there for as long as 30 years. And this is the worst case scenario that affects the body in very bad ways. Just like we said, the highest use of lead is in batteries. And second place, it's bullets. The price of lead is about $2,063 a ton. And it's always going up and down, just like every other metal. And that makes it about $2.06 per kilogram. And it's good to know that one kilogram of gold is $58,228. It was very profitable, huh? I'm talking about the alchemist. They wanted to turn $2 to $58,000. But what if they actually did? 